What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFalls.com and today we have the November 2019 Air Jordan release dates. So since it's not even November, usually I drop these videos a few days into the month. It's very possible a release could get pushed forward or back or even add it in. In the case that it does, there will be a link in the description below, which will take you to sneakerfiles.com, specifically the Air Jordan release dates page. And from there, it'll have all the releases for November, December, and 2020. Now, before we get into the video, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Now, before we officially start, there is two releases that images have yet to leak. I tried to search and find them and we have nothing. So I'm going to tell you what those releases are now. Everything else in the video we have photos of. And the first one is the Jordan Why Not 0.2 SE. It'll come dressed in black, flash crimson, yellow, and vast gray. Now that pair drops on November 12th. The second pair is a grade school exclusive. It's the Air Jordan 6 and it'll come dressed in white, black and alligator we should be getting a first look of the two very very soon first up is the air jordan one high fly ease in gym red now what's interesting is this pair was showing on nike sneakers however for unknown reasons nike has pulled the shoe from the app i'm not entirely sure why it is possible that the release has been pushed back but this pair is designed for people with disabilities it's designed for quick and easy access into the shoes it also comes with a zipper and strap which unzips at the collar and then folds open for a wider entry now this is the first time that this technology has landed on an air jordan the first colorway comes in black gym red white and black Currently, the release date is November 1st. It is possible that date has been pushed back and the retail price is 140. The first major release of the month is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Fearless. Now this pair pays tribute to the three Air Jordan 1 mid releases that took place in the early 2000s, I believe 2003. One came in a Chicago color blocking, the other came in UNC, and then the third featured black and gold. Now this pair will feature all three. As you can see, it has a split design. We have the Chicago by the toe, UNC around the hill, and then the wings logo is done in black and gold. This pair without a doubt is going to sell out this month. They're only releasing in men's sizes and they drop on November 2nd for 160. Now I did post on the community tab asking what video you guys wanna see today, which obviously the November release dates video one, but let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see a where and how to buy video on this pair. Also in that video in the description, I'll have direct links where you can go and purchase the shoes online. This month will bring us several colorways of the Air Jordan 34. One of those is known as the Eclipse. Now this pair features a simple black and white theme, black lands on the upper, white lands on the tongue branding heel, most of the midsole and rubber outsole. So pretty much a straightforward look. This pair drops on November 7th for 180. Now, in my opinion, this pair isn't bad. It's simple, it's clean, but I definitely do see them going on sale. Part of the upcoming N7 collection, Jordan Brand is releasing a special Air Jordan 8 in connection with Pendleton. Now, this shoe has yet to pop up on Nike sneakers. Currently, a lot of shoes dropping this month has shown up on Nike sneakers, but there's quite a bit that has it. So I know a lot of people are asking if this pair is dropping on sneakers, and they should be. I don't have 100% confirmation, but I wouldn't see why this pair wouldn't be available. The Air Force One Low part of the N7 collection is shown on sneakers, so I'm assuming this pair and the rest of the collection will also be on there. Now this pair comes dressed in thunder gray, light graphite, gold suede, and black. The highlight of the shoe is the use of Pendleton textile fabrics on the base, which gives them a unique look. So on to the release details, this pair drops on November 7th for 200. Initially, this pair was expected to retail at 190. I thought it was a little bit weird since it was in connection with Pendleton and come to find out it's actually 200. So not a huge difference in price, but it is up just a bit. Olivia Kim is releasing a full collection known as No Cover. One of the releases part of that collection is the Air Jordan 4 Pony Hair. 
Now, a first release is taking place at select retailers on October 31st. However, there is a wider release that is taking place on November 8th. The theme of the shoe is Black Cat, and yes, in 2020, we're going to see the Air Jordan 4 Black Cat release, but this is something a little bit different. As you can see, it features pony hair throughout. Like I mentioned, the release date is November 8th, and the retail price will be 190. The Fearless Ones collection won't just feature the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, but several Air Jordan 1 mids. Actually, the collection is mostly made up of the Air Jordan 1 mid. First up to talk about is the pair done by Blue the Great. Blue the Great is a Los Angeles based artist and inspiration for his Air Jordan 1 mid celebrates his love for primary colors. One of the highlights on this shoe is By The Hill, which features his logo. Now for the release date, this pair drops on November 9th for 130. Now I did some looking around and the only release date calendar from a retailer I saw this shoe on was Finish Line. I'm sure once it gets to be about November 3rd or 4th, more pairs from the collection will start showing up on release calendars from retailers. Although the Air Jordan 13 Island Green has yet to officially be named part of the Singles Day collection, the actual color theme does line up from what Jordan brand is releasing. But taking a closer look, this pair features black crocodile leather up top. We have a full grain leather on the toe. Suede Island Green lands on the panels as well as the heel. And then we have the same shade on the outsole. On the tongue, we have a metal Jumpman, and instead of a hologram by the hill, we have the number 23. This pair I've actually seen quite a bit on release date calendars, and there isn't a lot of hype for them. I'm not saying they're going to go on sale, but I definitely don't think this pair is selling out first day. However, they drop on November 9th, and the retail price is set at 200. When details leaked of the Singles Day collection, this Air Jordan 5 was featured, and it comes dressed in white, black and island green now one of the unique details on the shoe it features leopard print throughout and it's actually 3m reflective other than that they differ from the air jordan 13 because this pair features a white base we have hits of metallic silver and a translucent outsole this pair drops on november 11th just a few days after the air jordan 13 and the retail price is 225 bumped up quite a bit from the standard 190. I feel like the reason for the retail price increase is due to the 3M on the upper, although I don't necessarily think that's justified, but it is what it is. Also, this is another pair I don't think is going to sell out first day, but I don't think it's going to go to outlets, but I'll have more info on this pair, including availability in one of the upcoming news videos. Culinary Collective Ghetto Gastro also teamed up with Jordan Brand for the Fearless Ones collection, and the model they used is the Air Jordan 1 Low React. This Air Jordan 1 Low is inspired by comfort, unity, and the streets of New York City where design, art, and empowerment intersect. Constructed with black nubuck, nylon, and leather, while reflective burgundy is applied to the swoosh. As well, this pair features a React cushion midsole. This pair is releasing on November 14th, and the retail price is set at 160. One other thing I forgot to mention on the previous Air Jordan 1's part of the Fearless Collection is most of them are quick strikes and are limited. Now, this pair, no offense to them, is probably my least favorite from the collection, but for the most part, you can expect them to sell out first day, if not the second day. The second of at least three Air Jordan 34 releases this month is known as Snow Leopard. Now, again, this pair looks like it's part of the Singles Day collection. However, when info was unveiled, this pair was not included. Now, maybe soon Jordan Brand will make another announcement, which will include this pair as well as the Air Jordan 13. But as you can see, it features a similar colorway featuring a white upper while accents of jade green is spread throughout. Finishing this pair is animal print around the hill. Releasing on November 14th, Retail price is set at 180. Melody Asani also is part of the Fearless Ones collection. She is releasing her own Air Jordan 1 Mid. Now this pair features two release dates. The first is November 8th. That will be at Melody Asani's website. 
and then a global release date will take place on November 15th. As you can see, they feature a mismatch theme. We have various bright shades used throughout. They also come with a gold watch debris. And then on the midsole, we have written, if you knew what you had was rare, you would never waste it. So November 8th is the release date at her website. And then November 15th is a global release. And the retail price is set at 130. Again, I do believe this pair will sell out first, possibly second day. This pair actually leaked, I believe over the weekend, maybe it was last week on Friday, but it's the Air Jordan 4 Tiger Camo. Now this is a grade school exclusive, and on the upper, we have what Jordan brand is calling Tiger Camo. They also feature a mixture of black, white, rush violet, and racer blue. Releasing on November 15th, Retail price will be 150. Probably one of my favorites part of the Fearless Ones collection. That's a mid. This is a collaboration with Facet Tasm. Now the shoes feature a light shade of blue on the overlays. We have white on the base as well as black detailing. Now on the heel we have orange pull tabs and on the right shoe we have Facet Tasm written across it. In addition, the wings logo is layered. It features a red backdrop and then we have blue on the wings logo as well as black. And just above that, we have a small label with Facet Tasm branding. The last detail is a small jump man on the midsole. The quality on this pair, I will say it looks nice. However, I'm not going to judge officially until I get them in hand, but this pair drops on November 22nd for 130. Now, just like the other releases, I do believe that this pair is going to sell out first day, if not the second day. This is a shoe you either love or hate. It's the Air Jordan 4, what the four? Now, I'm not gonna lie, this pair has grown on me a lot. I wasn't a huge fan of them at first just because I wanted either the military blue Air Jordan 4 to release or the fire red, but who knows, maybe in 2020, we may see one of those drop. But until that happens, this is the next best thing for some people. Now, the what the four theme features all the 1989 OG releases combined into one. So those colorways includes black cement, white cement, fire red, and military blue. In addition, each pair will feature Nike Air branding. The color placement is different on each shoe, and they'll also come with a unique hang tag. Now this pair is dropping on November 23rd for 200. Now I believe this is a GR. There's a ton of releases taking place this month, so I definitely don't think this pair is selling out. Now, it's not to take away from it, it's just we have so many releases and then this pair is more towards the end of the month and a lot of people are saving up their money for December. We have holidays, not only that, we have the Bread Air Jordan 11. As most of you know, each year Jordan brand releases a special shoe on Black Friday. This year is the Air Jordan 1 bloodline now initially this pair was being called who said man was not meant to fly and that was due to the insoles and the insoles featured that quote and the quote is from an original air jordan commercial now basically this is a remix on the bread air jordan one according to their press release as you can see it comes dressed in a black gym red and white colorway a lot of people early on said that the Bread Air Jordan 1 would be releasing this year. A few days after news broke, I was lucky enough to find out from my sources that it wasn't the case. We would be getting something like this. I even put out a Photoshop back then that looked very similar to this, and gosh, I got a lot of backlash for it, but hey, it turns out I was right, so it was definitely worth it, and I appreciate you guys for sticking with me on that. I know some of you may have not seen it, some of you may have. I was attacked basically everywhere saying I was spreading fake news. But anyways, the shoe features a soft premium leather throughout, somewhat tumbled in different areas. We have black on the overlays, the eye stays, the swoosh overlays, and other locations. Now, initially I was told that this shoe would be available in full family sizing. It's also going to be a huge release and they're going to release on November 29th, which is Black Friday and retail price will be 160. Now this shoe, even though I like it a lot, I don't think it's going to sell out first day and that's just due to the fact 
that there's going to be a lot of pairs available. Again, it's around that time of year where a lot of people are buying things for their family and friends or they're looking to buy something maybe in December. Now, if this was the bread Air Jordan one, without a doubt, I'd say it's sell out no matter what time of year it drops, but I have a feeling that they're going to sit for a little bit. Now, I don't have confirmation on this. It's just what I believe. However, once I have additional information on availability and I have concrete info, that will go into the following news video. The last Air Jordan 34 confirmed for the month so far is the Air Jordan 34 Amber Rise. To me, this pair kind of has a shattered backboard theme, obviously releasing well after the Air Jordan 1 shattered backboard 3.0 dropped, and they come dressed in Amber Rise Black Cell in metallic silver. Although this pair is releasing on November 29th, which is Black Friday, this shoe is definitely not what many are going to go after. So I feel like this shoe is going to sit, should be an outlet release, but I don't have confirmation on that because at the time of shooting this, I don't have the specifics on the numbers, how many are releasing. But if you like them and you don't care about any of the other stuff, they drop on November 29th for 180. The last Air Jordan 1 mid part of the Fearless Ones collection to release during the month of November is the Maison Chateau edition. Now, I apologize if I mispronounced the name. And this pair features an African inspired design. Dressed in cream, brown, yellow, and light brown, this pair features hand stitched detailing, which pays tribute to the founder's roots. Other details include yellow on the tongue label, red stitching on the tongue, and swoosh. This pair is releasing November 30th. Currently, a retail price has yet to be announced. However, I believe that this shoe will cost 130. That isn't confirmed. Also, again, I do believe this pair is going to sell out within either the first or second day. Last up for the month of November is the Air Jordan 11 women's being called white metallic silver. Now, we only have one image of the shoe so far, which is kind of crazy because it's almost November. And at this time, we would have a ton of photos of the Air Jordan 11 men's or women's. In this case, it's obviously the women's edition. But from what we could see, they feature white leather up top. And then across the mudguard is metallic silver, and it appears it has this glitter finish. Now, there isn't a ton of details available as of now, but they are dropping on November 30th, and the retail price will be 220 Now, the details I don't know is the availability. I haven't seen them pop up on release date calendars for retailers just yet, so it's possible they could drop in December. But as of now, November 30th is the date. And that is all of your November 2019 Air Jordan release dates so far. Like I mentioned earlier, it's very possible a release could be pushed forward or back or even added in. So in the case that it does, I'll drop a link in the description below, which will take you to sneakerfiles.com, specifically the Air Jordan release dates page. There, I'll have a bunch of release dates for not only November, December, and in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like below. Also, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know for the month of November, what do you plan on picking up? Like always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.